Are you massaging and helping your lower back pain? Okay guys, hey, this is Michael. I wanna just show you guys a couple of things that um, you know I've been getting asked about when it comes to massages. Um, and I know that myself, I've been to massages, I've found a massage therapist, um, and that's a great way to help you know, with acute, subacute, and chronic sciatica pain, all of them, all the above. Um, you know, most people who have chronic pain do go see a massage therapist from time to time, but there are other ways to go about it. Um, for example, let's say you're at home and you have, you know, a sore back and you have much muscle tension and joint pain and just, you know, those muscle stiffnesses in the back is not really helping you. A great way to relieve that tension, it's a short temporary um, relief, um, but it helps nonetheless. And it's a good way that I recommend um, you know, if you're just around the house and if you don't have an alternative, which are like natural remedies, a great way to do that right now is with a uh, back massaging unit. And I have one right here myself. I just want to go over a couple a couple of ones that I have. It's, this is called the Homedics one. Um, this is a great handheld massager. It comes with different units here. You know, in the inside of this guy right here, it's, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, it's got more pieces in here that get attached to the end of the massaging unit. And I'm going to show you how that looks. Here it is right here. And as you can see, you can actually take off that back piece right here and add a different one like I just showed you. And, you know, you would just be able to massage your back. I could just turn it on with one feature here. It has heat on, it says right here. And then heat off right there. And right now it's in the off position. Turn it on right there. You can see it light up. And it's very powerful. You could already tell by the sound of it. Oh yeah, look at that. I put some of this right here on my shoulder. I can rub it up like that. Come back down to the end of my shoulder. And just wanna show you guys how you can do that for your back. You know, if I have a, re if I have to reach, excuse me, if I have to reach somehow, I'm trying to position this, um, but if I want to reach down here, you know, I can go to the back. Right now I'm working my upper back right now. Go through the thoracic spine. Work my way up to my cer the cervical of the neck. And then I can make my way back and then I could just turn my hand like this, down like that, towards me, and then there you go. Nice and gentle. You know, you wanna work from either starting the left side of your uh, lower back or the right side. Try not to go directly for that spinal area. I mean, I know a lot of us who will have sensitivity and pain and disc ruptures and, you know, bulging discs thinning discs, etc., the degenerative discs um, herniated. But um, you just wanna be careful. You wanna keep your back as straight as possible when you're massaging to get the best uh, tension relief. Um, so right now I'm just kinda going back and forth with the heat on and it's working itself pretty well. Uh, you know, and any massage unit will work. I like this one, it's called the Homedics again. Um, I, I like this one very well. So there, um, there's one demonstration. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy off. And then let's, let's go over here and look at this other one that I'm using that I've had for a long time now. It's just a basic one for a recliner. Right there. Just sits on the recliner. I have it connected to the back. That one's called Conair. Uh, it doesn't have to be specifically. There are other better ones that I've used. Um, but, you know, for this one, it's gonna give me, I just sit down right here. Got a button right here. All I gotta do is press, do I want the heat on or off? Again, this one comes with the heat feature. It's gonna ensure that you uh, get the amount of blood circulation rolling through your your spine, up and down your body. It's gonna bring better uh, blood flow through, which is what you want. So eventually, uh, if you don't wanna start with heat or not, or if you don't wanna start with heat, you can work your way into it, but I recommend that you do use that, uh, that benefit to it. Um, here it is right here for the seat. I have an option so I can feel it at the bottom um, If I want to turn on my lower back option is the middle one It's on low medium to high and everything comes with low medium to high upper back. I can work my way into it 
I like using all of them at once. But whenever I want to just target my back or my lower back, I just go ahead and use that one first and I'll turn off the rest of them. So I'll sit here maybe for, sometimes I do sit longer. I mean, 15 to 25 minutes is acceptable. Um, 30 minutes is, is all right. Um, I always like the longer, the better. It just feels better that way. So yeah, that's what I would do for massaging. And there's other ways of massaging too, massage chairs. Um, I like that feature. I'm not in one right now, but I'll show you what the possibility of having one. Um, you know, a lot of us who want to have a massage, the best way to get a massage is to sit in low, zero gravity. So if I'm leaning back all the way like this, where I'm at, an, at a straight angle, which most chairs go back to, uh, I'm going to be able to get that pressure relief in my back. It's going to feel really good with zero gravity. And that's what a lot of good uh, massage chairs do. Not all of them do that, but they all target a different point and they're much stronger. So um, I do like those for other reasons. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys quickly how to massage and um, just kind of where to go from there. Um, so yeah, thank you.